All right, we going? Ah, hello. Welcome back to Simon's Fix-It Corner, where uh, we fix everyday items so that they work again. Uh, today we got a TV. Found this on the side of the road, just sitting there. Uh, delivery van out front, but um, anyway, it's a, a Toshiba, probably about uh, 13 inches across and up and down. Uh, we're gonna fix it. Doesn't work when I plug it in. Doesn't work when we don't have it plugged in. So uh, gonna give it a go. Here I got my soldering iron, soldering, soldering little torch there, little tip, sharp. Shouldn't have done that. And then I've got a screwdriver. Now you want the little diamond tip. You don't want a uh, Phillips, a Phillips uh, rock. You don't want the uh, the square one. The square ones now don't work with the sheep is now the now the newer models they have their own thing on entirely. This is an old one, so I know we're gonna need the screw one there. Oh now. Now this is broken. Now we're not gonna really need this too much, but uh, well good news, look down in the description, you'll see my video coming up about how to fix this, but for tomorrow we'll uh, we'll keep that for tomorrow. So with that, without further ado, let's fix this puppy. On to step two. Now I'm just gonna show you some of the parts in here we're gonna have to fix. Alright, uh, well you can see right here it's a Toshiba model make. I don't know the number or the or the cereal thing or anything like that, but it's the big one. It's probably about, I don't know, 50 pounds. Now see on the back there's the, uh, the make and mauler. You can see it's a color. Okay. Now, you're gonna want to put it on a mat or a towel uh, carefully on the ground, the screen side down. You want to protect the glass. Now we're about to take out all these little screws in here to lift off the back cover. I'm going to give you a little bit of advice. I would take a little bucket, get all the screws put all in the bucket because they're going to start scattering away with little mass. <coughs> Alright, we're about to start unscrewing the parts in the back. But before we start that, I want to give you some advice on this next step that's really going to help make sure you don't get injured. Now, we're going to do it while I'm... so it doesn't explode. So, we got most of it done. I have one screw left, we're gonna take off the top, okay? We ready for this? Holy jeepers. All right, now this part here is uh, the panel. Got a lot of good soldering on here. We're gonna look through and make sure there's no little bumps or, ooh, that's sharp. Now, you're gonna wanna make sure that uh, all the parts in here are working and there's no, like, lime scale or, uh, or, or anything clogging them up or gucking them up, like some weird glue or something. Because some of these factories aren't really up to code. Now, these, this part here is where you're all gonna put in your inputs. Now, these look pretty good. You like that nice bright color it means they're good, they're, they're still new and you don't need to replace them. Uh, now, it doesn't get to, you get to the back down here, you see a lot of dust. Now, that means you might need to replace some of those parts because they're pretty old. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take them out and see what we need to replace. All right, now what I've done is I took a look at those dusty parts and I found out that there were a bunch of capacitors. Now, these are all the dud capacitors I found. Look at them, there's about 20 in there. And uh, I replaced them all. I went ahead and did that. I forgot to turn on the camera when I did that, but you know, I was using both my hands when I was soldering it. Probably wouldn't have worked. So I'll, I'll just kind of let you know. I'll take one out and show you uh, what it looks like. Uh, so it's it's it looks like that and you just kind of like stick the pieces in and use the tip of the hot part to like glue that down So be, um, you can pr pretty much fight, figure it out. It's not fool's there um, But yeah, so uh, yeah, I did that and everything else looks good So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put the top uh, back on her and uh, see how she blows All right, we made it went through hell and back, but we got it done. All right now it's just time to give it a test drive. I've got the cable, I've got the other cable. Now let's give this sucker a go. Now, it could just be that we, uh, we left something loose. So I'm just... Nope, uh, not, not too if we... Sometimes the first try you miss like a couple things. You just gotta have to retrace your steps. And um, no. Well, it looks like I'm gonna go back to step two and just kind of retrace my steps and go through. I think I saw one little doodad that 
who's looking a little bit wonky earlier. So I'm going to give that another try, but don't just let this discourage you. You can find anything on the side of the street, and it can be fixed. Just you name it. All right.